Hi, this is Purva from Bimser International, and today I'll be demonstrating to you the Control Document Management module in QDMS. Okay, so this is a demo environment for QDMS. It is also a web-based system and can be accessed from any web browser after deploying it onto your cloud or on-premise server. It is also a permission-based system, so not everyone has access to everything in the system, and you can access what you're supposed to based upon your position, profession, department, and group. So after logging into the system here, you can also find the pending tasks and, re and request for approval on your homepage. And you can also have a quick connection by opening the widgets from your homepage. So for example, we have our requests here. And also on our top left here is the main menu of QDMS. And QDMS does have a modular structure and we have over 30 modules available. So today specifically, I will be demonstrating the control document management module to handle all of your documents. So here you can upload your control documents, for instance, SOPs, specifications, procedures, policies, training material, and so on to the system. And if there is any version update to your control documents, you can also start a revision process in this module. And you can manage the folder structure based upon the document type, department, and location. So for example, on our left here, we have our folders. And let's go ahead and view our document. So before I do that, I do want to tell you that QDMS has a built-in browser that enables you to view your documents. And QDMS supports all document formats from Word, Excel, PowerPoint, PDF, video, audio, and so on. So here is our document. And on our top top over here, we, can, we have different information that is related to our document. For example, here we have the document code as well as the name. And we'll also see the, the, the document owner as well as the department that it falls under. Since this is a SOP, it falls under the quality department. And we can also see the date of creation as well as the last revision date and when the approval date was. And we're also able to see the creator of the document. And here we have the revision information. So here we can see who the revisor was as well as when the approval date was and who the approvers were as well as the revision reason. And we also have our permission list here where we can give certain access to certain user groups or positions. So we can either give reading access, printing access, or revision access to the specific user. And we also have our distribution list. And we also have our approval list where we can see who the approver is for the specific document. And we also have our vision matrix and we can also attach some other documents that we need to for files. And we also have a history of our document. So here we can see who it was last processed by as well as when the last process date was, as well as the time and the process type as well. Also in this module, we have a reporting tool. So there is a reporting tool available for every module in QDMS. So specifically, let's take a look at our document status report since we are dealing with our documents. So for example, before we create the report, we would need to put the critical information such as the document type, whether it's a document or a form, as well as the status of the document. And we can also choose the parent folder and the document code is required as well as document name. And we can also choose a date of creation as well as a date that was last revised at and the document type. So once we do that, we would send out the report. And here we have, we can filter out the reports depending upon the document name as well as the revision number and the document creator and some other information. And this concludes my demonstration today on the control document management module in QDMS. Thank you for watching.